Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we are going to be going over our top five most hated ships in World of Warships Legends. I don't know if you guys saw the video from last week. Um, we did a video going over our or my top five favorite ships. So today we're going over my top five most hated ships. These are the ships I cannot stand playing and there's even one also that I can't stand fighting against either. So yeah. I think, guys are, I think you guys are going to enjoy today's video. So nonetheless, let's just jump right into it. The first ship on the list here, number five on the list, is the San Diego. Man, I want to like this ship. I really do. But every time I play it, I just cannot stand it. It's such a horrible experience, right? Uh, just the guns are so underwhelming. The armor, there's no armor. The hit points, not very good hit points for a cruiser at tier seven. Overall, I just I can't find much enjoyment in playing this ship. I mean, look at the ship. It's a great looking ship, but it's just, it's not good. I want to like the ship, but I just can't. I, I can't. Um, so yeah, this easily takes my number five spot on the list. I can stand playing it to an extent, but at the same time, it's just like, oh, it could be so much better. So the reason why I just can't stand it is the guns. I mean, on paper, they look like they're going to be good, right? 23 even got a buff recently, which is the funny part. The San Diego got a buff recently, and I played about five to ten games in it since the buff and i haven't noticed much it still feels so mediocre um to play um i mean as you guys can see 5.1 second reload on my build and even if i put let's let's say for example if i put refill station it only goes down to 4.6 seconds like for example my cleveland which is a much better fucking cruiser this ship has six inch guns i've got a five second reload on six inch guns 100 152 millimeter guns and then you look at the san diego got 127 millimeter guns they're five inch guns and they have nearly the same reload as a cleveland which makes no sense to me why is it that six inch guns have almost a damn near better reload than a cruiser with five inch guns it just doesn't seem very balanced to me so yeah also take a look at the consumables right you got two repair parties i mean how helpful is that going to be when you only have thirty three thousand hit points um you used to have twenty seven thousand hit points until wargaming buffed it so there's that, but let's be real. Those 33,000 hit points are going to get chewed up so easily because just look at the armor. Th the armor is an absolute joke. It's a joke. So you can't tank shit, all right? It's that simple. It's just bleh, 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 bleh. So I, I don't know, man. This ship, it's just it's going to take my number five spot. I don't mind playing it sometimes. I've had some decent games in it. You can have a decent game in every ship, but man, this one... Yeah, I just throw it to the chopping block. Let it rust in my port. I don't care about it. And that is going to take my number five spot, man. I have to put this here. Now, before I move on, just remember that these are my opinions, all right? You guys are probably going to have different opinions on different ships. That's on you. You guys can think whatever you guys want to think, and I'm going to think whatever I want to think. And these are just my opinions. You guys can form your own lists and stuff in the comments below. So, anyway, we're going to move on to our number four pick. Uh, our, our most our, our fourth most hated ship in World of Warships Legends, and that has to go to none other than a tier five German <laughs> the German battle cruiser, the Mackensen, or the Mackensen, whatever you guys want to call it. The Mackensen, man. Ugh. Ugh. Just ugh. Look how ugly the ship is. It's ugly and it just doesn't do a whole lot of good. Like the guns are small for a battleship at the tier. You've only got eight of them. Like, you've only got eight guns. The armor's very mediocre. And overall, I just cannot see myself playing the ship over any other option at Tier 5. There's so many good options at Tier 5, right? You got War Spites. You got freaking Queen Elizabeths. You got even Byrons. I actually quite like the Byron. At least the Byron has better armor. It has better guns. They're 15-inch guns. This thing is an absolute beast at Tier 5. I, I would not mind taking this thing out at all. Then you got the Mackinson. <laughs> it's just like such a downgrade in nearly every single regard yes you get sonar take a look at the consumables you get sonar but let's be real how useful is that going to be like i don't know i can't count how many times i've just gotten sent to pound town in this fucking ship it's just an absolute rough ship to play taking a look at the artillery i was talking about how small the guns are they're only 350 millimeter guns these are 13 and a half inch guns that is super tiny at tier 5 like for a battleship um, you lack overmatch on most battleships. You lack overmatch even on some cruisers at Tier 5. And overall, I just... No, just why would I play this? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me. 
The hit points, not too good for a tier 5 battleship. I mean, it's pretty average. 52,000. AA defense, you don't have any, and let's be real. How many fucking carriers do you see at tier 5? Lots. Lots and lots and lots of carriers at tier 5. Now, there's one thing good about this ship. It has some good speed, at least. It is a German battle cruiser, so there's that. And just taking a look at the armor. The armor's not that good. I mean, this is... It does have an icebreaker, as you guys can see. I mean, 30 millimeters there in the front, the yellow, and it's got some 120 millimeter armor there. I mean, it is pretty tough, all things considering. It is a battle cruiser. Um, but if I take that away, you do have a good belt, too. I mean, you have a good armor belt for a battle cruiser as well. I can't lie there. So, I mean, I wasn't totally truthful with the armor. I mean, it is somewhat there. You do have some armor. But, I mean... Take that away. People are going to pen you in their, in your upper bow like no other. You've only got 25mm, so anything with 15-inch guns or bigger are going to go straight through that like butter. Not to mention, high explosive is going to rip you apart as well. you got loads and loads of 25 millimeters everywhere. you got those blue superstructures just waiting to get ripped apart. And... Yeah, I mean you're you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get sent to Pound Town pretty quick. There's no other way of putting it. So, yeah, Mackinson, I just I can't find myself to like this ship. It's the same deal with the PE Frederick. The PE Frederick, I believe, is the same class of ship as the Mackinson, and it doesn't even have sonar. It's like, oh, it's even worse, man. So yeah, Mackinson, easily just I should have put the PE Frederick where this was, but you know, I don't have as much playtime in the um in the PE Frederick or in the in the um. P.E. Frederick as I do in the Mackinson. Uh, just, I seem to have a horrible experience with the Mackinson. So that's why it's taken my number four spot on this list here. Just, bleh. Don't like it. Anyway, moving on to the number three spot on my list of most hated ships. This one was hard to pick, but I think in the end I picked it pretty quick. Um, it was the tier four British quote-unquote heavy cruiser. The Hawkins, man. The Hawkins is just... Oof, man. Just oof. Utter pile of garbage at Tier 4. There's so many better options at Tier 4, like, for cruisers. There's Konigsbergs, there's Omahas, there's Furutakas. There's so many better options at this tier. And why the hell would I play a Hawkins if I was in any sort of right mind? Who would play a Hawkins, man? And I'm going to go into why I hate it so much. Number one, the guns. The guns, yeah, they're 190 millimeters, but they are some of the worst 190 millimeters I've ever used in my life. They're utter garbage um, in my experience. 10 second reload too, not that good. Fire setting chance is only 15%. Eh, it's not that good um, on my build currently. Now if I was to put on igniter and if I was to put on refill station, right, that would go up to 9 seconds and an 18% fire chance. But remember, you only have 7 guns. And I don't even think you can get all 7 guns off. You can only get, what, 1, 2, 3 four, five, six guns off. Only six guns. A six-gun broadside. And speaking of broadsides, I mean, look at the armor. Whew, oof. It's a, it's a floating fucking citadel. It's got a very good belt, right? You could potentially cheese the shit out of things and tank with it, like on the Furutaka, for example. But if you take that away, that's also a weakness. I mean, just look at the citadel. It is fucking gigantic. Look at that. Look at that citadel. I mean, that is just... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Citadel that big in my life. If this thing gets caught at all, it goes kaboom. You guys thought the Omaha was bad. You guys thought the Omaha was bad. Oh boy. You haven't even fucking seen bad. Omaha Citadel? Shit. That, that Citadel on the fucking Hawkins makes the Omaha blush. That's Omaha Citadel, right? And then, here's Hawkins Citadel. <laughs> Oh, that is... Oh, man. That is... That is a yikes. Just a major fucking yikes. But yeah, Hawkins, man. I cannot find myself to like this thing. Every time I play it, I want to hate my life even more. So, yeah, Hawkins, major oof. Major yikes. That's why it's taken the third spot on my most hated ships. I just cannot... I can't. I just can't. So, anyway, moving on to the second spot on the list. My second most hated ship in the game. These are two of my most hated ships that I absolutely cannot stand playing um, out of everything. The number two on this list here has to go to none other <laughs> than the... It's another German ship. It's none other than the Tier Six German battleship, the Gneisenau. Some people may like this ship. It's German. I mean, a lot of people like German ships, but 
Oh, man, this ship. I want to like it. It's a good-looking ship, man. But it just sucks, in my experience. I cannot have fun with it. Um, I tried every build. I've tried a gun build, still get shotguns. I tried a secondary build, still get just the worst secondary action in the world. I've tried all the builds. I just cannot find myself to want to play this ship over any other Tier 6 battleship. I like the I like the Sharn Horse a lot now. I used to not like the Sharn Horse, but I actually really like it. The guns, man, they're really small, but they reload so fast. You just dish them out a lot. That's why I like the Gneisenau, man. It's a lot of fun. Or the Sharn Horse, sorry. Sorry, not the not the not the Gneisenau. But yeah, the Gneisenau, it's number one, it's got six guns. I've never been a fan of the six gun battleships. So there's that. And number two, it just the guns are so inaccurate, it's not even funny. They're so inconsistent. Um, and even when you build into accuracy, I still find myself getting the worst accuracy ever. I've tried all the builds in the world to try this try to make this thing somewhat fun, and I just cannot have fun with this ship. Now there is some good things about it, like the armor. I mean, as you guys can see, the armor, it's tough, man. I mean, you do have a 25mm bow, so that if someone has big guns, and there's a lot of big gun battleships at tier 6, you're going to get overmatched pretty quick through the bow, up in that upper side, or up in that bow side plating, or the upper plating there, as you guys can see, the 25 millimeters. You're going to get ripped apart, um, and including HE. HE will rip you apart, too. It, the Germans suffer that one classic thing, like all German battleships suffer, is the superstructure. you got a lot of superstructure to get farmed, so there's that. If you take away the bow armor... There is one thing good about the armor, and it's the side plating and the belt. The belt armor on this ship is phenomenal. I mean, that's how all German battleships seem to be. Just the belt armor is fan-fucking-tastic. But, yeah. I mean, other than that, there's nothing else good about this ship. The armor's good. It's tanky, but that's it. That's, I think, the only good thing about the ship. Oh, and it has torpedoes. But, in my experience, I usually never am able to get within range to even utilize these torpedoes. I just get burnt down to an absolute crisp. I take all the penetrations in torpedoes and I die before I can even use these torpedoes because most people are smart and they end up turning away to avoid most of your shit, essentially. So, yeah. Good eyes now, man. It's an oof. AA is actually pretty good as well. There's two things good about it, I guess. The AA, the speed, and the, um, the armor. But other than that, the main guns just turns me off, man. It's a major turnoff for the ship. So, yeah, that takes my number two spot. I, I, this thing's just absolute torture when I play it. And now, moving on to the number one spot, the moment you have all been waiting for. My most hated ship in World of Warships, Legends, man. And that has to go to none other, <laughs> none other than... The frickin' Kama, uh, the, the Shimikaze. The, the Kamikaze. That's another one, but... Shimikaze! Oh, Don't even get me started with this pile of garbage. It is just an absolute piece of crap. Oh, I hate it. I hate fighting it. I hate playing it. It's the most boring, one-dimensional playstyle on the planet. I, I cannot find a single thing to like about this ship. The only thing good about it is the torpedoes. That's it. That's the only thing good about it. Oh, and the concealment. Even even though it got a nerf, right? The, the, the Shimikaze did get a nerf. I still don't think that's enough. It is still utter stupidity. Just, oh, it's so brain dead. I hate this thing. Take a look at the torpedoes. Obviously, the torpedoes are stupid. The torpedoes are stupid with a capital S. They are stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's the only thing good about it. And the concealment, of course, because it's a Japanese ninja boat. All Japanese DDs have stupid concealment. And gotta keep in mind, too, I don't even have the upgrades on this ship, because I don't play it. I don't like Shima. I never will like Shima. I don't care. I don't put the upgrades on this pile of junk. <laughs> so, Shima's, man, some of the most overpowered ships in the entire game in terms of torpedoes. This thing just sits on a flank and just spits out 15 nuclear-tipped torpedoes every minute and a half. It's so dumb. It's so dumb and so brain dead. I just, uh, absolutely not. Just, there's nothing else to say, man. It's just so, so, so despicable. I'm, I, oh, I hate it. It's just filthy looking at it. So yeah, that's my top five list, man. There's nothing really else left to say about the Shima. It's, it's horrible playing it. It's so boring. It's so one dimensional, and it's just horrible fighting it because of that same reason 
it's just good at one thing, and that's torpedoes, man. So yeah, torpedo boats have never been my thing. And it's funny because I have 136 kills in this ship somehow. Somehow. I, I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. I mean, that's my top five list of most hated ships in World of Warships Legends. I don't know if you guys are going to greet my list. You guys can leave comments below and tell me what you guys think. But uh, yeah, Shima takes the cake as my most hated ship in the game. I just, oh, I hate this thing with a steaming passion. Um, if I see a Shima video, never watch it. Um, if I see people playing the Shima, you get no respect from me. It's just, yeah, one of those ships. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, if you guys did like my list or something like that along those lines, make sure to go down there and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. We are getting super duper close to 3K subs. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. And nonetheless, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.